I heard, and you probably have heard so many different reasons why this Shabbos is called Shabbos Hagadol, the great Shabbos. What's so special? Manishtara, HaShabbos Hazeh, from all the Shabbos. Uh, the Shabbos before Pesach every year is called Shabbos Hagadol. They say because the rabbi gives a very, very big speech about the rules of Pesach and he speaks for a long time, so... It's gadol. It's big. It just goes on forever. You feel like the Shabbos doesn't end. I'm just kidding. It was just yeah. another reason was because of the miracle that happened when this Shabbos, the Jews brought the Korban Pesach, the animal that they were going to slaughter in Egypt, and they tied it to their bedposts. And when the Egypts are like, hey, why are you taking our God to your bedpost? And they're like, well, we're going to have to kill him and offer him as a Korban. They said, what? And they didn't do anything to the Jews. In fact, they attacked Paro and they went after the king of Egypt. And they said, just let these guys out already. They're, they're, they're attacking our God. And since the Jews were not harmed, it's another reason we commemorate the miracle that happened. Chizkuni's approach is that we are like a child that had no mitzvahs previously. And now that we're being let out of Egypt and we're becoming a nation, now we're going to have mitzvahs, just like a bar mitzvah. And a, before a child is a bar mitzvah, he's a katan. And now he's a gadol. So we are Shabbos. There's so many reasons. The one that resonated with me most is from the Bnei Yisachar. He says that this Shabbos isn't special. It's the fact that Pesach, if you look in the Torah, it is also called Shabbos. In fact, they say we have to treat our Yom Tovim, our holidays like Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, uh, Shavuos, Sukkot, and Pesach. We have to treat them like they are Shabbos also. We're not allowed to do Malacha. We're not allowed to do work on those days also. So it's like a Shabbos. But we have to recognize that even though Pesach is going to be called Shabbos, if you look in the Torah, it says Shabbos is at the beginning and Shabbos is at the end of Pesach because the first day, or since we're not in Israel, the first two days is considered like Shabbos and then the middle is like Chol HaMoed where we are allowed to do work or things of that nature and then at the last two days it's going to be a Shabbos again. So we have to recognize that the Gadol Shabbos, the big Shabbos, is the Shabbos that we have every single week. It's in fact a reminder to us that even though like these amazing holidays that we celebrate happen once a year, Shabbos is Kiddush Mikol Hazmanim. Hashem made Shabbos holier than any other holiday. Even though, yeah, we have it every single week. But you know what? It's the most important. It is the Makor HaBracha. It is the essence of all the blessing. All the blessing that we have the entire week is from laying down on Shabbos, relaxing and learning extra and praying and, and that that we put effort into every single week to make it a very, very special Shabbos. So have a very, very special Shabbos. I'm going to uh, probably shave my face.